Shifting gears now, New Orleans officials were using the crew of Boo this weekend to test how COVID could spread in a carnival type atmosphere. Yeah, but the parade this past weekend exposed an issue that could be a much larger one. Does New Orleans even have enough police to put on Mardi Gras as we've known it? Yeah, Paul Murphy reports this weekend's shortened parade route for crew of Boo may be an unfortunate sign of the times. Saturday's crew of Boo gave New Orleans hope the city can still stage big events post pandemic. But it also exposed a police shortage that has been getting progressively worse over time. The parade had to cut out Canal Street from its route at the last minute. Boo Captain Brian Kern says there was not enough officers to work along the parade route. The detail I was told required about 90 police officers and they only had around 60 available. The ranks of the NOPD has fallen below 1,100 officers. That's far below the goal of 1,600 officers. Fraternal Order of Police Attorney Donovan Levacari estimates 125 officers have left the force since the beginning of the year. He says at the same time, there have been less than 50 new hires. My guess is that it's probably better than two to one uh, for the departures versus new hires. The Vicari says the pandemic made it difficult to recruit new officers on top of chronic issues like poor morale and a need for more competitive wages. He also says the shortage doesn't bode well for the upcoming carnival season. It's not going to leave enough to staff Mardi Gras as we've done in the past. I, I mean, I think at less than 1,100, I think we need more than I mean, I think it was at crucial levels at 1,200. Kern says now's the time for the city to address the problem. You have the state police, you have National Guard, you have Port Police, you have Criminal Sheriff. I, I, I'm sure we can figure out a way to use all the other departments and just to make things happen. The NOPD points out Crow Boo is different than a Mardi Gras parade where officers are working on the clock with the city and that not enough officers signed up to work Boo's paid detail. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. The NOPD released a statement to say the men and women of the NOPD and all of our frontline responders have been under extraordinary strain throughout the pandemic and the overlapping disaster response required of them in the last 18 months. Conditions have changed since we last held parades and we need our community, vendors, hospitality leaders and event organizers to be mindful of that.